Hey there everybody, so here we are at the uh, hardening shelf, the plant hardening shelf, the day after these plants were pulled from the LEDs. These ones here that are looking all terribly limp and wilty, these are the ones from the grow light, and these ones here are the ones from the 5000K bulb. This guy seems to be doing best of all, even though, you know, not the strongest looking plant when it came outside. So there might actually be something to that using white lights to help strengthen the plant for hardening off. We'll check back on these guys tomorrow and the next day and uh, find out a little bit more. So here we are day two on hardening off those peppers from the grow light test. Um, basically all I needed to do yesterday was get these guys a little bit of water from the aquaponic system and they perked right back up. So looks like the grow light plants are still in the lead. So it's been suggested to me that an easy way to lower pH without getting pH down or whatever is to add air to the water. So I've got this old fish bowl here and holy crow, it's registering 8.8, 8.7 for the pH. What I'm going to do is I'm going to throw the air stone in here that's in the garden bed and see if over a few days that uh, lowers the pH of this considerably smaller amount of water. So we'll see how that does. Check back on it a few times and then eventually make a video out of it all. See, now it's down to 8.6. This pH meter is so unreliable. I really need to get a chemical test kit. So yeah, I'm gonna let that run in there for a few days and uh, we'll check back on the pH every day or so. See if it really makes that much of a difference because I know it's making a difference to the roots, but it doesn't really seem to be making a difference to the pH. So 8.8 .8 through 8.6 were the readings we got on that today. Hopefully, we can get down to the 7 range, or maybe even the high 6s, with at least this fish bowl. And as an added bonus, if I do get fish fry, at least this gives me somewhere that I can put the spawning mops. Not exactly a huge tank, but cold fish fry don't need a lot of room. Well, isn't that interesting? It has been a couple of hours, only a couple of hours, since I put the airstone into the aquaponic water, in the fish bowl, and it's gone up to 9.0. Maybe there's something funky with this airstone. Not all created equal. All right, so I've got both airstones in here now. I don't know if I mentioned that I was gonna try that or not. It's already up to 9.1. So I'm thinking, because it's probably not the air, maybe it's these white airstones. Most airstones that I saw growing up as a kid and in aquariums and stuff have all been a blue stone. But these ones are quite white, and I've been advised to take any of the white rocks out of my aquaponic system, so... 9.1. I think I'm going to try something here. Now, I'm aware you're not supposed to run an air pump without stones on there, because there is the risk of water getting up and getting sucked back up into the pump, but I think gravity's going to work with me on this little experiment. So I'm just going to run those without the stones, We'll check back on it tomorrow and see if that pH has gone down any, because I'm really starting to blame these stones. How strange. Educational, but strange. So this is the third day of hardening off those peppers in the sun, and I can't say that uh, it really looks like either bulb did significantly better in the changeover. But it definitely looks like the ones under the white bulb are just, they're not looking anywhere near as happy in general as the ones that were under the garden bulb. So that is kind of interesting. And let's check the pH situation. Well, 8.8, 8.9. Technically that has gone down a little bit, but really I would have thought, you know, if air helps to reduce the pH that uh, that should do it. This is not a big fish bowl, And that is both tubes. That's kind of interesting. Check the pH in the fish tank itself. 8.7, give it a wiggle. 8.6. Kind of looks like the pH is going down without those white stones in here. Fishies. And uh, having the peat moss in here, I'm sure, is helping with that as well. Very interesting, very interesting. 8.5, 8.6. This meter's a little gibbled though, so it's a relative pH reading, but 
certainly looks like it's doing better without those stones in the main system. Well, that's kind of crazy, and I just don't know what to make of that. So I'm just going to keep watching the pH and, uh, you know, fiddling with different ideas. It's been suggested that CO2 might make a difference, so I might try uh, doing a little basic fermentation in a pop bottle, see if I can root that into the water, lower the pH that way. I'm still kind of thinking black tea, because I don't know, it just really strikes me as the way to go. So... Maybe I'll put a, lot, a little bit of that in a fishbowl too and see how that does. I'm going to wrap this particular video up here, everybody, and I will see you on Sunday with the Sundays in the Gardens. See ya.